All right, so in this equation, I have 16 to the power of x minus 12 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I want to be solving for. And for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation over here so I have more space. So I have 16 to the power of x minus 12 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x. Now, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 9 to the power of x. So 16 to the power of x minus 12 to the power of x all over 9 to the power of x is the same thing as 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x minus 12 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. And this is equal to 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, which is 1. Now, from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is going to equal 16 over 9 to the power of x. And I have this minus 12 over 9 to the power of x, which is equal to 1. Now, 12 over 9, I can simplify that to 4 over 3. And 16 over 9, that's the same thing as 4 squared over 3 squared. Now, I can use this property again for 4 squared over 3 squared. So now I get 4 over 3 squared to the power of x minus 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 4 over 3 squared to the power of x is going to equal 4 over 3 to the power of 2 times x. However, a to the power of m times n is also equal to a to the power of n times n. And if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m should equal a to the power of n to the power of n. So, in simpler words, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So these two can switch places and the overall term would still be the same. So what I'm going to do is use this property for 4 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x and make it equal to 4 over 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. And this is equal to, or sorry, now I have this minus 4 over 3 to the power of x and this is equal to 1. Now I'm going to let 4 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So if I substitute in y for 4 over 3 to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 1. Now if I subtract 1 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here, this is a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is also negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And now this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of positive 1 minus 4 times negative 1, which is the same thing as plus 4 all over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these are my two solutions of y.
However, we aren't done yet because we let 4 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So, and now I have two, so two equations. I have 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I also have 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is less than 0. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So, this equation has no solution. And this is my only equation that has a solution from this. So, to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is take the log on both sides. So, I'm gonna, so, if I take the log on both sides, I get log 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log 4 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times log 4 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And this property is actually really important because now x is an actual term, and it's much easier to solve compared to when it was an exponent because solving an exponential equation is really difficult compared to solving a algebraic equation. So now from here, all we have to do is isolate x by dividing both sides by log 4 over 3. So I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 4 over 3. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log of a minus log of b. So in this case, log of 4 over 3, I'm going to rewrite as log of 4 minus log of 3. So this is my answer.